Good morning, my dear friend. I hope you're well today. It is a Wednesday morning, and we're expecting, well, a big storm today. But the Lord's faithful to all of us, and we're thankful. We are looking at Isaiah chapter 64, towards the end of the chapter. I'm going to start reading in verse 8. It says, But now, O Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay, and you are the potter. We are all the work of your hand. Be not so terribly angry, O Lord, and remember, not iniquity forever. Behold, please look, we are all your people. Your holy cities have become a wilderness, Zion has become a wilderness, Jerusalem a desolation. Our holy and beautiful house, where our fathers praised you. And we know where the Lord has put us, it's a place for us to be. He says, where our, that beautiful house where our Father praised you. In other words, the author is realizing that there was a continuity of generations. And the Lord does pass an inheritance down through, through the generations, but he wants our generation to be faithful to his calling and what he's doing. Let's go to the Lord in prayer today and just say, Lord, we want to be faithful. We want to continue on praising and looking to you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you today thankful for your faithfulness. And Lord, you've called us even through the generations, and we're thankful for that. And Lord, we want to be found faithful in our generation. We thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen.